everyone. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics as they play against the Philadelphia 76ers. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. All right, a chance to check out stats for Tobias Harris. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Hey, Kevin. Most people know that the Celtics are big proponents of analytics. And their star Jason Tatum said, it's helped me a lot, knowing what works best. It starts by attacking the basket, trying to get more layups and free throws. That opens up the game. Not avoiding mid-range shots, but getting in a rhythm first. And it's been working. Kevin? It sure has. Thanks, DA. Terrific talented backcourt tonight, Greg. Did it ever add anything for you playing across another top-level guard? Listen, it raises the stakes, no doubt about it. You, you always want the opportunity to play against the best because you want to see where you stand. But in the end, even when you know a guy's better than you, and you're going to have that be the case a lot of nights, you still know that you will have an ability to impact the outcome when it comes to winning. And, and that's where you have to keep your focus. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Harrison and Bede hold down the post for him. Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel, and it's Green in at the three slot. And for the Celtics, Brown on the wing, he's paired with Tatum. Williams is out there with Williams, and it's Walker in at the point. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey guys, if you can believe it, before Jalen Brown went to the draft, one executive said the Cal Berkeley star was too smart. Brown says, when athletes are also informative, it can intimidate. We get pushback for our outside interests. The whole shut up and dribble movement is big. I'm a part of that movement. Guys? Strong story, DA, there. Thanks. Basket good. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. Now here's Williams. Currently averaging almost six points a game. First quarter, just over a minute play. Simmons inside. Working on Walker. And Simmons gets it to go on the assist from Tobias Hicks. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Walker. And too long on the shot. Last game for the Celtics, they pick up the win against Indiana. Simmons passes to Embiid. On the way, Harris. Rebound by Williams. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. And the basket is good. Yeah, what a great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. A serious talent when Robert Williams is healthy. He makes his presence felt. Has great length and lift off the floor. Defensively, he protects the rim and even blocks shots out on the perimeter. Now, here's Tatum. After the miss from Joel Embiid. Tatum kicks to Brown. Side, Walker fires the three, drains the three-pointer. And then offensively, Williams is mostly a rim runner at this point. Greg, there are signs that the jumper is coming along. Yeah, you know, when he was drafted at the end of the first round, a lot of talk about rebuilding his shot mechanics. And that's still a work in progress. But where he's really impressed people is with his passing. He has terrific instincts for the game. It can be the pass to Harris. Good on the triple. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now, here's Tatum. He's last out and he's on four and 22. Count it. Boy, it's so clear that Jason Tatum is comfortable shooting from just about anywhere. 
And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Pass to Harris. Here's Feibel. 76ers moving the ball around. And B kicks to Feibel. No good from outside. Looking at Philadelphia, they took the win in their last game against the Nuggets. From D, Walker. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got four rebounds in this game. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through, see if you can get an easy opportunity. And that one's good, Bible. Well, he showed right there. This guy capable of making shots, especially if you leave him that wide open. Here's Walker. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. Tatum gets the bucket. Well, Jason Tatum with the answer from three. That's how you stop an opponent's momentum. And here is Simmons. After Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. Simmons passes to Green. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. A three from Tatum. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Simmons, the bounce pass. Shot from 12. Excellent D there from Williams. Boston's gone 2 of 5 from three point land here in the first quarter. Here's Walker. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Ben Simmons. Well, the defender collapses because on the dribble drive from Kemba Walker, my goodness, is he clever. And moving to a star-laden team last year, Walker continued to produce as he always has. And the scoring average may have gone down, but that was totally expected. This has been a seamless integration of Kemba Walker. Coach Stevens has got to get some credit here. You allow Kemba Walker to play to his strengths, but you also allow him to thrive in the team situation with other talent. I you know you grew up with aspirations of someday getting into politics. Any current players who you could see maybe taking that same route? No doubt. There, there are several guys uh, in today's game. Uh, you know, Harrison Barnes has, has the polish, and I know he's had some thoughts that may be going in that direction. Teammates nicknamed Malcolm Brogdon the president for his stately <laughs> demeanor and commitment to affecting change. I, I absolutely see him trying to have an impact socially moving forward. There, there are several guys, again, who not only have the voice, but the courage to speak out about things that matter most to them. Many sharp guys in the NBA. And the basket by Harris. Really a combo forward with, with a solid outside touch. Harris is the ideal fit for the modern NBA. Now here's Williams. It's a rejection by Embiid. Bible on the wing. Off target with his three. The Celtics have gone just a shade under 50% for the field. Five of 11. Brown dishes to Walker. pass to Tatum. Let's go. Simmons pulls it in. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just stays and he whiffs on that. Outside, Green. Pass to Embiid. Back to Green. Six to shoot. And it's Simmons penetrating. And they take the lead. Well, Danny Green excels at recognizing when his teammates have open looks and putting it on the money. Nicely done. Walker finds Tatum. Now Williams. And here's Walker. Blocked by Simmons. And it's blocked by Simmons. And he's able to get it back. How about the balance and body control? Simmons able to send that one back. For Philadelphia, they've gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Outside, Green. Pass to Embiid. Oh, the lock for Simmons. An emphatic LU jam. And how about the connection Simmons has with his guys? Once the lob is on its way, you know he's going to finish in style. 
And now, the first timeout call here for Boston. And, and what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. Does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple-double threat whenever he suits up. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Robert Williams. Marcus Smart comes in for Williams. And it's Teague in for Kemba Walker. Philadelphia also making some changes. White Howard's checked in for Harris. Shake Milton comes in for Danny Green. And Curry subbed in for Matisse Thibault. Now here's Teague. Tatum looking around. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben Simmons is, Greg. This is just the beginning for him. I mean, and that's what fans are missing about Simmons, his age. I mean, you can worry Take about his shot. Take a break. But he has a Two long shots. time to figure it out. He could end up having a Jason Kidd type of a career where he becomes a solid shooter later on. That free throw, no good. You get the sense that Jason Tatum has a drive to be great. This is a young player who doesn't lack for confidence. I love watching him play. Axie's checked in for the 76ers. And he sinks the second. Emphasizing the importance of a deep bench. A few teams, Doris, across the league are riddled with injuries right now. And this is where your front office has to find a way to be successful year after year. And players over the course of a season maybe won't play for five, six, seven, eight games. And then an injury opens an opportunity. And you have to have a high level of professionalism at the end of the bench to endure these moments. Now here's T to the miss from Joel Embiid. That's tipped, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense, and that is one heck of a rejection right there. Here's T. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And he's shooting his free throws to the tune of 75% this season. Fairly standard number. What's up? Free throw, good, Teague. This is why Teague is such a valuable player. You know, he's a solid shooter from anywhere, so he's able to space the defense. He can, with his handle, get inside the paint. There's a lot to like about Jeff Teague. Now here's Curry. He averages a bit over six points a game. Fires from deep. Thompson with the rebound. They've been beating them to a lot of those 
loose balls and rebounds here to start. T kicks to Thompson on the wing run. I see him, I see him. The kick out to T. Hands it from downtown. T's got his second basket of the night. Well, this is a go-to shot for Jeff T. Let's remember, this guy will not hesitate if you leave him open in three-point territory. To the wing on the left. Back to Milton. And B with a screen on Brock. Milton. No good, unable to end this run. Celtics leading by four. Embiid with it. Turned in an outstanding game against Denver. Now, Milton. Embiid inside. He's covered by Thompson. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Kerr. When you think of Seth Curry, you're thinking shooting. But there, what a pretty pass to find the open man. Pass to Brown. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's MB. Running around 26 and a half points a game really hands it off now. You know, Greg, we can all agree that Joel Embiid is a superstar in the league with this play, but you get the feeling he's the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. You know, pundits and fans have questioned his fitness, his fit, but at the end of the day, he does get it done, and the numbers speak for themselves. Embiid's an outspoken guy which can invite a lot of criticism. And he makes the first. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. Austin making a switch here. Green's checked in. He's off on the second. Celtics leading by three. He tries for three. Smart misses. Philadelphia shooting 42% to begin this game. On the wing, Milton. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And Thompson sends it back. That's where Thompson's length comes into play. You think you can sneak a shot over him, but he'll spot it right back at you. Well, you know your low post players are going to take a lot of trips to the foul. Line. So it helps to have big men who can train free throws like this group can. Fourth, Joel Embiid. That is a very confident group of players at the free throw line. We haven't seen them struggle there as some of their brothers in the big man fraternity have. Not at all. They've got the kind of ability at the line that would be acceptable at any position. You can't defend them as physically as you would some other big men because of just how reliable they are up there. 19 left to play in the first quarter. Milton finds Howard. Great ball movement here by the 76ers. Six on the shot clock. Curry against Tatum. There's Embiid. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Embiid's got seven. And showcasing that overwhelming strength. Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. Now here's T. Bringing off a 10-point performance last game out. There's the pass to Tatum. That's good. And so T with the assist. He's got nine. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Tatum against Embiid. It's good for his fourth bucket of the night. He's shooting four of eight. Offensively, we see Embiid all over the floor. But inside is where he can really utilize that size. Now here's T. Trying to get open is Thompson. Goes to the reverse layup and packs it in. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. 
Hughes Milton still looking for his first bucket in this one. Right side green, and they pick up two. And how about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off that? And so it's Boston in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. spoke with Joel and Bede earlier. He hopes to set an example for those who want to follow in his footsteps. It's about the good part. At the end of the day, you come here, you want to make an impact and, you know, share your story with everybody. Uh, and so he kind of pushes everybody back home in the whole continent to want to do the same thing. Well said. Certainly, Greg Embiid puts himself front and center, willing to lead the cause on and off the floor. And this is where his big personality helps. He has a larger than life quality that really just captivates people. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Celtics. They definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. You know, something else they've done a good job of tonight is penetrating and getting points right at the rim. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play on the court right now for the Celtics. We've got Williams. He's out there with Thompson. Smart is out there with Green. And it's Pritchard in at the one spot. There's Court Bonds. Pass to Embiid. Green kicks to Court Bonds. Beyond the arc. Hits it from three point range. Korkmaz has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Austin leading by seven. Smart passes to Thompson. Outside Williams. This is it to Smart. Shoots. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. Well, but they came into that game looking to be physical. Looking that is authority right there. Yep. Here's Pritchard. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Back to Thompson. And stolen by Simmons. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Oh, sensational speed by Simmons. Trucking it down the court and beating everyone. Outside, Green. On deep. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got ten rebounds here tonight. So happy. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Embiid's got 11 points. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. That's the smart. Here's Pritchard. I get six. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the one he's had tonight. His production has been unbelievable. A testament to how much he cares about his craft. Here's Simmons. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. For Boston, they've gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. Going just one for five. Smart on the wing. The pass to Pritchard. Williams, a screen on Simmons. Back to Williams. To stop the crowd. He can't get that one. Now the 76ers take it the other way. And 
Here is Simmons. 14 points from him the last game against Denver. And equally spent as much energy on his D. I mean, four steals kind of tell the story. Looking for Hillis. He gets it there. Up high to stuff the alley -oop. And passes like that demonstrate the winning mindset Simmons has. A guy that wants to get his team involved. Tristan Thompson. Brown comes in for Green, and it's Kemba Walker in for Marcus Smart. Greg, you were drafted 12th overall by the New York Knicks, and then second overall by the Grizzlies in the expansion draft. So you've had a very unique view of being in that position in two different settings. Yeah, I mean, two very different cities, but really each beautiful in its own way. Uh, the, the New York draft, obviously coming out of college, that was like a dream come true to go and play for Pat Riley and, and then get the opportunity to go and be a part of a brand new team in a new country with Pete Well was also uh, a really good experience. I hope we can take a petition started by you and me to get the NBA back in Vancouver. And Seattle, right? Let's get back oh, in both Seattle. those cities. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Here's Pritchard. Kicks to Williams. Williams with the ball. Brown the pass to Williams. Now here's Walker from deep. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Now the 76ers with it. They're on an 11-3 run to the inside. That's good from Harris on the assist from Simmons. Harris has got the game tied up here for Philadelphia. That's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for Boston. The 76ers have gone 6 of 8 from the field in the second quarter. Pass to Korkmaz. On the way, Harris. And they double up indeed. Pass it to Korkmaz. Eyes again. And Embiid finishes inside. Embiid's got 13. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Pass to Brock. The pointer connects from three-point range. Brown's got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah, that's two bombs in the middle from the long range. Popped up there for Embiid. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. Hard to imagine a much better target on the alley oop than Embiid. Get the lob anywhere in his vicinity, and you might wind up on a highlight reel. Walker the pass to Williams. The kick out to Walker. There's the three. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Simmons, the bounce pass. Here's Harris. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his fourth assist in this one. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size.
checked in. Then for the 76ers, Dwight Howard. He's checked in for Joel Embiid. Shake Milton comes in for Green. And Curry subbed in for Korkmaz. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Williams, a screen on Simmons. Walker, the pass to Williams. Brown outside. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And let's take a peek at the players contending for a spot in the dunk contest this year. Each and every one of these guys can do amazing things around the bucket. And they will. Uh, I guarantee you that we're going to see things in this year's contest that we've never seen before. Look, those fellas have some tricks up their sleeve for sure. A look at Simmons. And I know he'd like to make a move up in the consideration. He's got all the athleticism you hope for from a dunk contest participant. He sure does. Lots of competition, though, in the running this year to get that big invite. And as always, we'll keep the updates coming in as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. One thing you already know, there are some great players pulling in votes so far. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those duck contests that everybody's going to be tuning in. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Doris, much has been made of Brown's improvement offensively and rightly so. But when you ask Coach Stevens about him, he always goes back to his defense. Well, it's never a surprise for the coach that that is the first shoot and two. foremost thing on their mind. At 6'7", with a 7-foot wingspan, that incredible athleticism, Jalen Brown can guard the elite wings in this league, and he holds his own and competes at a high level. It's a must-have for any championship team. Well, you and I have talked about how the NBA Finals used to be tape delayed. What's the value of fans getting to see the broadcast live now as opposed to tape delayed? as it was back in the in the 70s. Isn't that a, weird to even think that that's it the is. case? I know but, it. <laughs> you know, I, I think, Kev, that the fans, they just feel more connected to their favorite teams, the end players. It creates more anxiety, right? Because nowadays, there's nothing that can happen that you don't know about it, whether you see it or not. So live sports, especially the NBA Finals, the anticipation, that anxiety that we talked about then, I'm still a fan to this day in a different way. So I can only imagine when you have a personal vested interest in the team, what that's got to feel like. Edge of your seat, you're right. That's good from Harris. Drops them both. Here's Walker. Eight points for him. He kicks it to Brown. Driving to the basket. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. To me, this is Jalen Brown at his best, right? A superb player who gets to the rim in no time. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight Shoot also. Two. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. No good on that one. Exciting is Jalen Brown as a basketball player. This guy is a skilled forward who loves showing off that ability to dunk the basketball. Good on the second free throw. Last game for Boston, they picked up the W against the Pacers in Indiana. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. Well, how about the job they got from their bench? That productivity was a major part of the outcome. Pocket four. 
Here's Harris. The 76ers with another miss. Sonics trail by five. Hawker the pass to Williams. Back to Walker. Philadelphia's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. And the pass to Harris. Off target from outside. He has that confidence rolling. Two threes in the first. Hasn't had one since. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Boy, he is a behemoth in the paint. Once Williams establishes himself, you almost have to foul him. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Shooting two. And that one falls for Williams. And the energy of Williams, it's infectious. Amazing at using it to block shots, rebound, score, whatever they ask of him. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Philadelphia leading by four. On the wing, Milton. Now, here's Maxi. No points in the game yet for him. Murray finds Milton. With some art, Williams with the block. The reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection to deny shooting. Selvich passing it around. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Harris. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Shoot two. First free throw is good. And so Tatum nails them both. The 76ers lead it. And here's Maxi. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Harris. This one for three. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And through hard work, this has become Harris's bread and butter. A knockdown shooter off the catch. Hit him against Harris, and the shot goes down. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's Harris. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And whenever Harris is aggressive like this, I think it's for the best because he has that ability to attract contact. He's gone two for two at the line so far. First one falls for him. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. Austin making some changes. Thompson comes in for Williams. And Smart subbed in for Kemba Walker. That one misses. 
and they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Smart on the wing. 136 left to play here in the second quarter. And it's sent back by Howard. There's a reason why Howard has so many whole defensive teams to his credit. Good night with the block. Butler the pass to Howard. Now the dish to Harris. Passes it to Maxi. Robbed up there for Howard. Throws down the alley oop slam. That's about communication between teammates. Dwight Howard, high flying as ever. Now Tatum, outside, smart. Flying is what from deep. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Howard's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Here's Curry into the lane. An easy two points on the lane. And now an eight-point Philadelphia lead. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Teague can't hit. And the 76ers with possession. They're on a 16-7 run. Two seconds separate the shot clock and game. Tatum against Harris. Howard with a screen on Tatum. Tobias Harris, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Philadelphia. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now out in front with momentum behind them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Joel, you've got the lead, so how do you build on that as the game continues? Uh, just keep being, uh, being aggressive. And I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and making plays. Hey, they always build off of their defense here. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. What a game it's been for Tobias Harris. He had 18 points, two rebounds, and three assists. This has been a bounce back game for him after some struggles there last time out. Let's start with you, Shaq. What'd you think about the 76ers? Well, Kenny should appreciate this. I love the ball movement. They were in sync as a unit, and their assist numbers were impressive. Anytime you get five players working together like that instead of one guy doing it alone, it's always going to be a boost. That's the primary reason they're in control of the game. Kenny, how would you think the Celtics were playing? Their three-point shooters struggle to get into a rhythm. It's a mental thing. You start clanking them, and your teammates start. It's contagious. Now, percentage-wise, shooting in the low 30s, it's not horrific, but it's not great. And they have to improve their accuracy from deep in the second half, or they're going to have a hard time coming back. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. The second half of this game still to play. He's in a tremendous game from Harris. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters he has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime when he has the ability to answer right back. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Harrison and B hold down the post for him. Matisse Thibel's out there with Simmons. And it's Green in at the three. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Pass to Harris. The feed now to Embiid. Outside, Simmons. 
Philadelphia moving the ball. And Harris wide open. He shoots, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. So it's trail by eight. Walker with it. Now defended by Embiid. Walker against Embiid. And Walker kicks to Brown. The pass to Williams from the arc. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got his 16th rebound on the night. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Green, no luck. It's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Boston Celtics. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Williams dishes to Tatum. Well, this is what you call your big man playing big. Terrific work on the glass. Pass to Embiid. Back to Simmons. Pulls it from the elbow. Here's Embiid. A shot that time, not on target. Now the Celtics take it the other way. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. Passes it to Harris. And Bead with the screen on Williams. Here's Harris. That's it. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Walker finds Tatum. And here is Williams. Here's the two drop. Shot is given to 76. His lead has got back down to eight points. They needed that one from Kemba Walker. The 76ers have gone on one of five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensive. Simmons passes to Green. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got assist number five here tonight. Uh, Danny Green is one of the best catch and shoot players in the league. Makes it look easy. Pass to Tatum. Over Green. Tatum's shot is off. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Embiid against Williams. A nice shot by Embiid. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Celtics trail by 13. In the third quarter, with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Tatum's shot is off. Philadelphia's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Simmons feeling it out a bit. And there's the pass to Harris. To Simmons. Puts up a three. Rebounded by the Celtics. And Walker kicks to Williams. Left side, Tatum. Outside, Walker. It's up a three. Carries it from three-point range. Walker's got 13. How about the range from Kemba Walker? Boy, he's put in a lot of work to get better. Here's Simmons. He's got 12. Shots good by Green. The real. Come at us. And we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Here's Walker. And it's blocked by Simmons. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going. But the team is struggling because he's struggling. Pass to Thibel. Hey, yo, what is? Green kicks to Thibel. Harris against Tatum. Count it. And he has become a pure shooter. And, and from mid-range, Harris is deadly. Now a timeout called by Boston. Nice game, great performance by Harris. Guys, you have got to find a way to slow this man down. This is a great timeout.
76 runs. And a moment now to check out some of the numbers for Simmons. Averaging 17 points per game, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. And he's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. The 76ers leading by 15. And Korkmaz, the Turkish guard, taken at the end of the first round in 2016. Spent a year overseas before joining the NBA and didn't play much early on. The last season he showed he's a starting caliber player. Here we go. <laughs> Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Alec Korkmaz standing 6'7". Greg, there's a lot to like. And his size can be a huge advantage in certain matchups, Kevin. Great wingspan also lets him grab a fair amount of steals. Has worked hard to get where he is and still showing room to grow. First free throw is good. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for the Celtics. And Philadelphia also making a switch. White Howard's checked in for Tobias Harris. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And you talk about the perfect veteran wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. Embiid, no good. Celtics trail by 14. Green deciding where to go with it. Good D by Embiid. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. Here's Howard. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Howard's got his second bucket of the game to go. Boy, guys, the powerful physical frame of Dwight Howard, so problematic for a defense. And the foul called on Danny Green. That is his first foul of the game. Marcus Smart's checked in for Williams. Curry's checked in for the 76ers. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Passes it to Embiid. From deep. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his fourth rebound in this one. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. It's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Why Leonard is one, so he explained how. He said, it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half-court game. Teams won't allow you to take wide-open shots or threes. Guys, back to you. D.A., thank you. And count if the shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. We know that Jason Tatum is a gamer. This guy willing to take punishment on his way to the cup. And let's take a 
take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the 76ers. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Now they've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. And that one falls for Tatum. Philadelphia leading by 13. Now, here's Maxi. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And B, the screen. Curry with a wide open look. Sinks the triple. Now, this is Curry's specialty. The catch and shoot. Yes, sir. That's in his bag. Go ahead, Seth. Pritchard passes to Tatum. Here's Pritchard. And sent back by Howard. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. Curry against T. Rocket six. Thompson. You can see right there the three-time defensive player of the year is still an intimidating presence on that end. On the way, Milton. And Thompson sends it back. And here is Tatum. He's got 18. defense he recognizes it and quickly takes advantage and that's typical of this guy he's always reading the situation reacting quickly and capitalizing back to T Thompson sets the pick for T the three-pointer no good the 76ers leading by 16 Maxi passes to Howard over to the left wing Embiid, and that one, good. Embiid's got 21. And hit on the way up. Embiid's strong physically, but also mentally able to keep his focus. Thompson passes to T. That shot is off. Curry with the defensive effort. The 76ers shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Now, here's Maxi. Not a lot of room. Now, Milton over smart. And he overshot that one, missing. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. Drives to the hoop. That one goes in. Richards got five points. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. Milton the pass to Howard. Outside curve. Now, here's Maxi. Guarded closely. That one falls. Celtics trail by 18. Richard passes to top. Dishes it to T. In the corner, Tatum with it. And that comes off the assist by Jeff Teague. Teague's got three assists now in this one. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Embiid finds Milton. Here is Howard. 19 seconds left here in the third quarter. And he gets it to go. Embiid's got eight here in the quarter. You can just see the passion and love with which he plays the game. You see how he prepares, the work ethic, the way he interacts with his teammates. And when he hits the floor, it's all about the game. A big-time effort for Joel Embiid, providing a lot of energy for Philadelphia.
Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. Back to the action after this word. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Outside, the wings are Smart and Brown. Williams is out there with Williams. And it's Walker in at the one. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Bible can't get it to go. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Right side, Smart. There's Walker with the three. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got five rebounds tonight. Outside, Green. Pass to Embiid. Jalen Brown with the rebound. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. They trail by 18. Williams, a screen on Simmons. Harris against Williams. Second chance shot, and it's good on the way. You know, Williams gets positioned inside. He just looks to dominate physically, and then he shows you the skill set on top of Simmons with it. Harris kicks to Thibel. 76ers moving the ball around. Here's MP. Another miss by Philadelphia. Celtics trail by 16. Walker the pass to Williams. Round against Green. And there's the call on Joel MB. And that'll be his third foul so far. Walker surveying the floor. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. To the left side wing. And Bede inside the line. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Austin's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. That's a two-pointer from Walker. A shot off that time. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Here's Simmons. Table on the wing. Off target from three-point range. Well, this is the night you look at your teammates and tap them on the back and say, good job, because for him, he's been struggling all night. And it's Walker penetrating. Simmons with the defensive effort. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. To the right side. Here's Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got nine assists now tonight. Hey guys, we've become accustomed to this. Embiid's a dynamic scorer who's comfortable shouldering the offensive load. Here's Brown over Green. And it's Brown missing. Philadelphia leading by 18. Harris passes to Simmons. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Interior presence of MB. Guys, that pig shouldn't be able to move like that. Outside, Walker. The pass to Brown. Count the basket. You know, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They are definitely not losing because of him. 76ers have gone 2 of 7 from the field, and what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Simmons passes to Harris. Pass to Embiid. Out, out. 
rebound by the Celtics. Williams has got four rebounds now tonight. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Walker's shot is off. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Passes it to Embiid. Back to Harris. Fires for three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Williams has got 11 rebounds in the game. And still looking for his first triple of the second half. He had three at halftime. Williams finds Williams. Greg, it's pretty typical for players of the past to talk about current players and say, they may have struggled had they played when I played. What do you think of that line of thinking? You know, I... I, I just don't agree with that, and, and, and I think we all do that. We all feel like our era was the best. I had the same thoughts being passed my way when I first came into the league. I'm sure. The reality is these guys work just as hard as guys worked back in our era. They just have more understanding of what their value is, and in a lot of ways they've got more courage to speak out because, you know, let's face it, they're not the bullseye on their backs in today's era with social media than we've ever seen before. That is true. Pass to Embiid. He dishes it to Harris. To the middle. Here's Thibel. A beautiful reverse layup. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Simmons against Walker. Williams with a clean look from outside off the mark. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They have a 22-point lead. It's the most they've led by. Well, the quickness, the size, and the speed of Simmons really breathtaking, especially when he's dribbling the rock. Now here's Walker. Here's the floater. You know what, he's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And the basket by Harris. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Brown dishes to Smart. The pass to Williams. Round against Green. Busted. No good that time either. A fadeaway, not a terrible idea, but he needs to make the game easier on himself. He's overcomplicating things. And here's Harris from the arc. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And Walker gets to Brown. The Celtics working the ball around now. Let's a floater go, and the layup by Walker. Soft touch is a requirement of the floater game. Does Kemba Walker have it? You bet. Simmons against Walker. Outside, Green. Harris outside. Here's Embiid. Kemba Walker with the rebound. Boston shooting in this fourth quarter pretty dire at 27%. Misses the step-back jump shot. Boy, it's been a struggle in this quarter, and the team needs more from him, there's no doubt. Pass to Harris. Eibel with the ball. From deep three-point range. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number 13 with that last one. And Ben Simmons picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. In the league, taking steps to discourage teams, Greg, from tossing away seasons in search of high draft picks. Has enough been done, you think, in that regard? You can, we'll see. <laughs> I'll tell you, the, the idea of a play in That's a tough one, isn't it? Oh, for the last a... few playoff spots, I think that's a good idea, actually. Uh, yeah. It might keep more teams in the hunt down the stretch. Uh, and I think the onus also, if the fans put enough pressure on their teams to try to develop what they have and not always put it on the future uh, I, I think that's going to help but I, I think you're going to always have a little bit of that moving forward 
Philadelphia leading by 21. Here's Simmons. Passes to Embiid. Kicks it to Green. Harris outside. Six on the shot clock. Embiid, no good. Boston shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. Outside, Walker. No other way to put it. Just a rough quarter in terms of scoring. He has not been helping at all. Walker against Simmons. At the top of the key, Curry. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. I love the aggressiveness of Seth Curry right there. Despite that frame, guys, he is not afraid of getting fouled. Shooting two. First one falls, and it's been said that history is written by the victors. It certainly holds true in sports, don't you think, Greg? And mm -hmm. with that in mind, do you think titles are overvalued when evaluating the great players, individual players in history? You know, Kevin, I, I think so. Uh, having said that, I think championships do matter, obviously, in, in the NBA, in basketball in general, one guy can have more impact, right? Because you only play five and you play both ways, so uh, it, it does have something to say, but I don't think that completes the narrative. You know, there's some tremendously talented guys, Carl Malone, Elgin Baylor, Patrick Ewing, all of a lot of greats who never won it. Uh, it. It's easy to count those rules, The measuring greatness has to take in the whole picture. All the famers, all of them. Pass to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. A hard worker who really ferociously strives to improve. Simmons tonight has been unstoppable at the offensive end. Green against Tatum. Williams sets a screen for Walker. The 76ers leading by 22. Outside, Green. He kicks it to Simmons. Back to Green. Takes the three. Good on the three-point shot. Green's got nine points now in just the second half. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the 76ers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, but an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And guys, at this point in the long NBA season, this will go down as win number 25. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one, a terrific night for Ben Simmons. What a selfless effort tonight. He's done such a great job finding guys in their appropriate spots. Williams sends a screen for Tatum. Looking to end the run. That one's rebounded by Embiid. So it's Philadelphia now. Outside, Simmons. Here's Green. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Jason Tatum. It's great whenever Danny Green is forcing the issue. He puts the defender in a tough spot there. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Sometimes when a guy is the 46th pick, as Danny Green was back in 2009, he can become an afterthought. 
But what does he go out and do? In just his fifth NBA season, he wins a championship with the Spurs. And both free throws good for Green. And Boston has possession. Here's Pritchard. And here is Neesmith. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. This one was over well before the final buzz. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thank you, Kevin. Joel, we've heard in the past some people questioning your level of fitness. What's your response? You know, I'm just going to keep on doing what I've been doing this year and I've been healthy and uh, I haven't been injured and I'm going to try to keep that. I'm going to try to keep that way. So. Well, whatever you're doing is working, man, so keep it up. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long, everyone.